Hey, my name is Sean. Welcome to Echoes in Eternity Bourbon. I was going to do a video today on the on barrel. <laughs> they opened up the box. Um, the cork had been destroyed. Okay, check this out. Pivoting, adjusting, being flexible, okay? I'll give you a real life example of... I have to fish this cork out and luckily I have some I've got a few extra bottles that I've finished over the time that I'll be able to put a new cork in there uh, but this was a gift from barrel um, some other content creators have had it um, and this is their first hundred proof offering so I'm gonna go ahead and, and do this a different day I'm gonna get this cork fished out of there uh, put a new topper on there and we'll do that a different day so today we're gonna review Fiddler Georgia Hartwood this right here is a single barrel selection from the Tap House, um, which is in Fairburn, Georgia. It's about an hour and a half drive from me, but they tend to do very, very nice things. And I'm a big fan uh, of the ASW, uh, big fan of the Georgia Hartwood. And when they had their own single barrel selection, I was like, I'm excited for this. As you see, I'm missing a few pours on this, but the funny part is, is I haven't even had a sip of this yet. I uh, was able to get this out to a, a couple amazing people. Uh, that do some things for me all the time. One of them being Dave Vogel saying, uh, and another being Terrence. Um, so definitely looking forward to this Saturday. You know, got my Auburn gear on. I am so so very uh, proud of the, that Auburn team. You know, and, and it and I always tell people in college athletics specifically is, you know, these are young men that you know, eighteen to twenty two, twenty three you know, that are playing a game at an exceptional level. And even when they're having a rough season, you know, as a fan, we're supposed to, we're supposed to embrace them and we're supposed to, you know, cheer for them and try to uplift them, you know, because I don't know if you guys remember what it was like to be 18 to 23. Sometimes those are some tough times when you're, you know, in school and you're trying to live a real life. And then on top of that, you have college athletics. And Auburn started off really rough this year, but they've really kind of turned it around. Very proud of them. So very proud of the young men of that program there. Just getting into this uh, Fiddler. It's got beautiful color on it. A nice deep amber color on it. Almost a deep burnt orange on it. Um, just looking at it coating the Glen right now. Uh, it's got some nice oils at least going on through there that you can see on the glass. I haven't seen anything start really coming down, which means it's nice and thick. So I'm getting some nice sheeting coming down um, right now. And what is this? This is 118 or 116 proof. 116 proof, not a lot of ethanol on the nose. I'm getting a deep brown sugar. I'm getting some of the nice oak in there. So it's a Great mill, sweet oak. Some nice vanillas. Almost got like a real sweet raspberry on the nose too. So that's pretty interesting. Starting to get some nice fingers coming down the glass. So it's nice and oily. Let's see what we got. Man, I am a big fan of ASW. If I hadn't said that already, I am a big fan of ASW. So you get that great burst of initial sweetness. Um, you get a, I'm almost getting like a strawberry note on it too, which is neat. I got raspberry on the nose, but I'm kind of getting strawberry on the palate, which is strange. Second sip in, and this is just such a smooth, easy sipper at 116 proof. Coats the mouth well. Like I said, I'm kind of getting that strawberry note a little bit on the back there. Um, getting some of the, you know, getting some tobacco on there. I'm getting a little bit of the dryness from the oak on there, but it's sweet. It's very, very good. So 
So I'm kind of getting like a very light brown sugar for, I'd say, kind of the sugars up front. So a little bit of caramel, a little bit of a brown sugar. It's getting a little bit of spice on the tongue, but super, super easy, easy sipper. Getting a little bit of spice. I gotta look at the mash bill on this. But not overly spiced, not super heavily spiced. Uh, but a little bit of a spice on there. Almost like a baking spice type of note. This is a weeder, so it's got really nice smoothness to it. And so, this is a little bit of a dangerous bottle for me. I can tell you this right now. It's not super, super overly complex, but you get enough transition. You go from the, the sweet to a little bit of the spice to a little bit of the, the tobacco and the oak. And then this kind of a little bit of a strange strawberry note thing going on on the back. It transitions well, but it drinks so smooth and it feels good certain certain bourbons just feel good when you in the mouth when you start to, to put them in and you swish them around a little bit and you drink on them this one just kind of has that nice hey i'm here and man it just feels great to be here type of thing going on and it's got a, a tiny bit of an herbal thing going on at the back too so this has got a lot of good things going on like I said, up front, you're kind of getting that light brown sugar, you're getting a little bit of the caramel. Um, then you kind of transition to a little bit of a spice, um, the oak, some tobacco, and a little bit of a strawberry and, and a little bit of a, a nice herbal quality on the back. So a lot of good things going on there. It's super crushable, super easy to drink. <sighs> Man, I can see myself getting into a whole lot of trouble if I'm just sitting around watching a game with this bottle and I'm saying, eh, let me have a pour. And then, ah, uh, let me have a second pour. And then maybe if you're into your third or fourth pour, fourth, fourth pour later, wow, English is important sometimes. If you're in your third or your fourth pour later, that you could be like, what happened? Because this is just so easy to drink. The oiliness and the viscosity on this, a little bit of a buttery quality too. Is what makes this, I think, this just kind of puts this over the top as a great bottle. I would buy this again in a heartbeat. Kind of kicking myself I didn't buy a second when I was up there to get this. And this, and I've had this on the bar for a while, and it's opened up for a bit. Um, but this is an exceptional pour. Great oiliness, great mouthfeel, super dangerous. It drinks way under proof. I'm thinking this kind of drinks at like probably a 95 to 100 proof. So it's drinking up to maybe 20 proof points under that super buttery oily quality that I get is what makes this dangerous and it's just so easy to drink uh, definite big time buy for me on this Hartwood I'm a huge fan on this store pick uh, fantastic uh, I would definitely buy this one again in a heartbeat I uh, wasn't expecting to drink this one today. As I said, originally we were going to start off with the barrel, but I got a cork issue here, but I'm going to get that corrected um, because I'm really, really excited about that. But we we'll definitely buy that again. If you've never had a Georgia Hartwood from ASW, I would recommend if you've got a friend, get a friend to, to let you have a pour. Uh, if you see it in a bar, get it. I know it's not available in all areas, but they do have it online. They're amazing pours. Um, most importantly, it's Saturday. I'm hoping you're having an amazing time uh, with your family and friends. If you're working, I hope your work time goes fast, your off time goes slow. But if you're not, I'm hoping you're enjoying every ounce you have with your friends and family. Uh, I'm currently in Kentucky. No, I take that back. I'll still be in Tennessee on Saturday. I'm recording this on Friday, so I'll be in Tennessee on Saturday uh, and hanging out with the wife, doing Nashville. Probably some hot chicken for lunch, somewhere nice for dinner. Um, bourbon tour in between and, and a wine tasting somewhere. So Saturday's going to be full, but looking forward to some college football in between. Um, most importantly, I hope you guys all have an amazing day. 
Not much left there, but cheers and God bless.